welcome to vlog number six and it's going to be of game five of the NBA finals and it was a great game once again and Spurs took this one 104 to 87 and which gives them the title of as NBA champs they play they start got off to a rocky start going one of 12 to start the game in the first four minutes and they were down 6 to 22 at in that first quarter but they fought back and came back in the game in that second second quarter and outscored the heat 11 to 25 and then combined the the second and third quarter they outscored the heat 50 to 20 which is 30 point difference to which is insane and lebron had a great Great first half, had 20 points and 6 rebounds in that first half, and just played flat out amazing like he usually does. But the problem was nobody else was com contributing, it was just Le LeBron. And if you look at that, the starting 5 for the Heat, it's LeBron finished with 31 points, Chris Bosh 13, Dwayne Wade 11, and that was a big, that's a big three. They're supposed to be getting you eighteen solid, eighteen twenty. If you if you want to call it the big three, you gotta play to your potential, and they didn't do it at all this series. And you gotta give credit to San Antonio's defense; they shut them down, and they played great defense throughout. Ray Allen did not have a great game. They put him in the starting lineup, and he did not do what they expected out of him, and. He ended up with five points and went, I think, da da da. I mean, I'm using CBS Sports, at sports for stats and again, so gotta leave them. But he went one of eight from the field and in 31 minutes. And he just didn't play as well as he should have. I think he's more of that bench guy that should come off like a Manu Ginobili, who, speaking of, had a gr another great game. He had 19 points, won 6 of 11 from the field, including 4 rebounds and 4 assists. And he woke up, I th that, um, that third quarter he just broke out. And then Patty Mills, who another great guy off the bench, he came in and just started draining threes. I mean... Talk about a guy who was been sort of a game changer, but didn't really score much in the previous games, but then comes in and drains five threes and scores 17 points and two assists and just just flat out a great player. But got to gotta give props to Mr. Ka Mr. Kawhi Leonard, uh, NBA Finals MVP, the 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 second youngest player which is in fact tied with him not he's 22 years old same age Tim Duncan his teammate Tim Duncan was when he first won his M NBA Finals MVP but what what you, what else to say and the Spurs just outplayed the Heat this series and Dwayne Wade let's talk for about him for a sec didn't did not play at good at, at all really. And he went four of twelve, thirty three percent from the floor, and he just never really got it going. And he, I mean, he made a shot he, a shot here and there, but never got up and never got hot. And that's what I thought was a problem. He, they didn't really give him open looks which it was a great defense by San Antonio. And then Chris Bosh, where where was he at? He didn't contribute at all. I mean, he he went 13 points, but went 6 of 14. And I just think he shot a lot more threes than I. He should be working it inside. He's a center. That's what I think what makes San Antonio, they're all around a great team. They know their role. And... And don't, don't get me wrong, Chris Bosh is an excellent shooter and can, when he's hot, he's hot and you don't want to leave him open. But he, after missing three, two or three, stop, 
just work inside, bump fake, drive in. And I thought he should have been working inside a lot more. And a couple of times he was getting matched up with t t Tony Parker and a guy smaller. And all you have to do is just get a little hook shot. And you you can beat a guy that who's smaller smaller than you inside. And which I didn't see. He didn't really. I saw a couple of times he when he had the chance to do that, but he just passed up on the opportunity. But going back to San Antonio, they like I said, they all know their role on the team. Tim Duncan is the inside guy. He Tony Parker drives, kicks out to Manu or Kawhi or Danny Green, and Boris Stia gets other teammates involved. See that those are the things that every player on that team has has their role on it, and that's what makes them a all around great fundamental fundamentally sound team, and. Their benches, they're all, they're all contributing, contributing. And unlike to Miami's bench, if you look at Miami's, Miami's bench, it, da, da, da. Miami's bench, um, James Jones had zero points. Tony Douglas three points. Udonis Haslam two points. Michael Beasley had their, had one of the the higher scores, nine points, and Mario Chalmers getting out of his groove in with eight points. But Shane Battier, Chris Anderson, zero points. I mean, you got to have some guys contribute a lot more than that if you want to win, which is why San Antonio just took this series. Their bench was a whole lot stronger, and they worked the ball inside. I, I like a team that works the ball inside. Earlier in the second quarter, I was I had just tweeted, they got to get the ball inside to Tim Duncan if you guys w want to work it around. This was right at the beginning. And that's when they started it. <laughs> right then, they passed it inside and got Tim Duncan for an and one. And they started just what deadly is if you start going inside, they start double teaming you, which leaves a guy open on the outside and you can get threes up which they did a terrific job. So Spurs did great. Hope hope you enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe if you want to see more. And comment. The NBA Finals are over. And if you want me to do baseball, on any, any games on ESPN, I'll walk, be, feel free to watch those. And yeah, that's basically it. If you have any suggestions for later on, like NFL, college, I'll be happy, glad to do those. And those will be times when I'm at college and stuff. So hopefully you enjoy, and hopefully you like this NBA Finals as these went through. But yeah, hope you enjoyed. <laughs> Again, thanks for watching.